Byron High School has been blessed with some great football players over the years like Adam Dock, Troy Drake, and Tyler Ellsbury, and some great football teams. We witnessed two state runner-up teams at Byron just the last two years. But the best collection of talent at one time and the best team took the field in 1999, the year the Tigers won the school's only state championship. We focus on that team in this week's segment of Glory Days. And the Tigers were 13-0, and they took on 13-0 St. Joseph Ogden in the 3A championship game. The Tigers came into that game averaging 48.6 points per game. Sean Considine had rushed for more than 1,300 yards. Fullback Mark Cotter had rushed for more than 1,200 yards. Matt Mayline gave them another dynamic weapon, a flanker. And the quarterback was current Byron head coach Jeff Boyer. The Tigers were coached then by Everett Stein, who was celebrating his 60th birthday the very day of that championship game. The Tigers proved that their gaudy stats were legit. They dominated. Cotter used his power to score four touchdowns and set a state championship game record by scoring 29 points. He also led the Tigers in tackles at linebacker. Considine consistently got around the edge with his speed and quickness to rush for 189 yards and a touchdown. He also had a sack on defense from a safety position. And Boyer connected with Mayline for a 21-yard touchdown pass in the second quarter. The Tigers led 27 to nothing at halftime. They led 41 to nothing at the end of the third quarter, leading to a running clock. Coach Stein was able to pull his starters with eight and a half minutes still remaining in the game. The Tigers won 41 to eight to capture Byron's first state championship in football. We had a gut feeling that we could be down here, but uh, we had to work at it, and we did, and uh, we reached our goal. We've always wanted this. We've wanted this since I can remember, and it's Coach Stein's first time being here. It's Byron's first time being here, so it just meant a lot to everybody. Joining us now on the phone is Sean Considine. And Sean, the offensive numbers you guys put up and the offensive talent you had that year was just amazing. A lot of you guys played youth football together growing up. When did you know that this was no ordinary group of guys or a class of football players? When we were little kids playing for Blackhawk Junior Tackle, you know, Oregon, Stillman, Byron were all together on that same team. And so we did fairly well, but I tell you what, you know, we didn't necessarily blow it, blow anybody out by any means. We were probably like a 500 team, but the group below us, the lightweights, they were called, which was uh, spearheaded by Coach Boyer. He was the quarterback. He played with those little guys, and they, they did very well. Um, so, you know, we knew we had some football talent in the area, not only at Byron, but also Stillman Valley and Oregon. And so we were all looking forward to getting to high school and seeing how it turned out. You guys so thoroughly dominated St. Joseph Ogden. Could you see it in their eyes and their body language that they just knew they were overmatched? I, I remember just kind of noticing how frustrated they they felt or seemed during the game. You know, we actually kind of made a couple mistakes early and it kept them in the game, you know, for the first two series. You know, they were a very good football team that had pretty much dominated their season up to that point. And, they, you know, they had a lot of guys that played only on offense, and they had a whole separate group of guys on defense. And I think they thought, you know, they'd wear us out as that game went on. But just kind of like we had done, you know, throughout the whole playoffs, we just overwhelmed teams so quickly where, you know, the game, it's not like a 14-7 to game into the third, fourth quarter. I mean, it's 40 five to nothing at halftime and it's just pretty much over and it you know that was another game where it just snowballed on them so quickly i just remembered i could just tell how frustrated they were with how quickly it, it went downhill for them you guys not only rushed for 492 yards that game and dominated offensively you dominated defensively st joseph Fogden had a running back brian royce who came into that game with almost 1800 yards rushing and you made him a non-factor what made byron's defense so effective you know, we were well coached. I mean, obviously, Coach Stein and, you know, Brad Miller and Ben Dalton, they had been coaching at the high school level since the 1980s and doing it together. And, you know, I think that, that you know, we were just very fortunate to come through with a very talented football team at, at Byron that year, but also with uh, extremely experienced coaching staff. You put up some great numbers that day with 189 yards rushing, and Mark Cotter had four touchdowns, and he made big plays on defense. I think Cotter gets overshadowed a little bit because of your college and NFL accomplishments and by Jeff Boyer because he was the quarterback and now he's the head coach of Byron. But tell me about Cotter, the impact player that he was. Oh, he meant a ton. And, you know, if you ever talk to any of our former teammates or, or, but, or friends, you know, that played on that team, 
Mark was definitely not overlooked by us. You know, I, our junior year, we, we uh, elected him as the team MVP. I mean, he's just such a fierce competitor, whether it was that fullback or middle linebacker, you know, just an incredible high school football player. Uh, you know, not only his talents, but also his competitive drive. Coach Stein had coached a lot of great Byron football teams up to that point, but he had never won a championship until that year. How happy were you for him, and did you guys know it was his birthday, and did he ever forgive you for dousing him with the Gatorade bucket at the end of the game? Yeah, yeah, we knew it was Coach Stein's birthday that day, and, you know, that made it extra special, and, you know, it didn't put any pressure on us as players, but, you know, it was it was a real shame that Coach Stein at that point in his career had not already won a state championship. Some of the teams that he had coached in the early 90s and mid-90s were good enough to win state titles. They just had some heartbreaking losses to some great teams. Um, yeah, Coach Stein, just a tremendous leader. You know, we, we were very happy to get, get him that state title. Our thanks to Sean Considine for joining us. Byron set a state record that season for points with 673.